I remember the night that I would have graduated, they had the stadium lights on. And so it, it kind of lit up the area. And, and just at the time, I knew that they were crossing the stage to get their degree. A sinking feeling came over me that, you know, my life was going to be difficult. I mean, there's been successes. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a very conscientious worker, and I'll get the job done. And so that always provided opportunities. But it was the other parts of life that slowly just kind of ate at me. It was, you know, eating at the core of who I was, my self-esteem. Your life becomes almost like a minefield, not being able to rewrite in a, in a literate world. Each day you walk out of your door, you know, there's a challenge out there waiting for you. There's that possibility of being discovered as a non-reader. And I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I, I knew that I had to change. I remember calling down to the library and making an appointment. And the only thing I really wanted to, to help me with was spelling. I felt like if they could teach me to spell a few more words, that I could be successful. That day they did an assessment to find out where my reading and writing and spelling and grammar and all that was. And at the end they said it's somewhere between the third and fourth grade level. And here I was, a man sitting there, 43, 44 years old, being told that you were reading the same level as a very little child. My first tutor was Lindy. She was the first one that ever said to me, I believe you can do it. You have to think I had like 45 years of, of things that were, that were very negative, that, that had became a part of my life. I mean, you know, the fear of being discovered, the fear of trying, the fear of being wrong, the fear of being ridiculed. All of these things just didn't go away because I was starting to learn. So for that first year, I was still working with my demons. And today, I'm sitting here with a bachelor's degree. If I could have done it alone, I would have done it a long time ago. It took you in my life. For that, I will always be indebted and grateful to you. For nine years, I have worked tirelessly in the community to promote literacy and, and have been effective where I see parents now that are doing things with their kids. I see mothers back together with their kids that have jobs and have homes and things like that. That's her legacy. She was the word that taught me altruism. She said, you'll understand that word one day. And today I truly do.